LEX 18 is learning new information about Lexington's latest homicide. It's centered from a domestic violence incident last Wednesday on Bay Colony Lane. Once inside the home, officials discovered 47 year old Talena Henderson with multiple gunshot wounds. She ultimately died. Police tell us her husband, 59 year old Stefan Henderson, called 911 saying he killed her. Stefan faces multiple charges now, including murder. And today we spoke with family members of both Talena and Stefan. More on that in a moment. But LEX 18 has learned Talena Henderson was divorcing her husband and sought a protective order against him. Court records show, though, it was on hold. Lee Searcy looks into why, and in tonight's LEX 18 investigates. Just four days before police say her husband shot and killed her, court records show Talena Henderson had tried to get an emergency protective order against him. In the petition, in her own words, Henderson wrote that her husband, Stefan, had verbally and emotionally threatened her, and she indicated that there was a weapon involved. She also wrote that there was an incident in which Stefan was, quote, so close to me that I was afraid of being hit or hurt. And she went on to write that she called police, and police recommended she file for an EPO. According to this petition, Henderson tried to do just that the Sunday before she was killed, but she never got an EPO. Instead, court records show the judge set a hearing for November 30th. So why the delay? The reason given in a court action signed by Judge Tracy Brislin was that there was, quote, no imminent threat. We reached out to Judge Brislin for comment. An assistant told us the judge had no comment. According to Kentucky law, an emergency protective order can be put in place when there's, quote, an immediate and present danger of domestic violence and abuse. We looked into Stefan Henderson's history and found he's been accused in previous incidents with other women. In 1998, court records show he pled guilty to aggravated assault and fourth degree spouse abuse. Most of his 90 day sentence was suspended and he was put on supervised probation for two years. In 2014, another woman sought and received a protective order against him after she said that he hit her in the face and had to end to a bed. As for the case involving Talena Henderson, Stefan Henderson was initially charged with violating an EPO. Today, that charge was dismissed because the order wasn't in place. He's still charged with murder and remains jailed. His bond set at $1 million. In Lexington, Lee Searcy, LEX 18 News. Well, relatives of the victims are still trying to come to grips with what happened. But the big question they all are asking is why? LEX 18's Rachel Richardson speaking with families of the victim, Talena Henderson, and the suspect. One day before Thanksgiving, Lexington police say they got a call from 59-year-old Stefan Henderson saying that he shot his wife, 47-year-old Talena Henderson, who also went to Tina. Her son broke the news to his sister in Washington. I asked him, I said, what's the last thing that mom said to you um, about me? <laughs> she said, um, I wish Tamara could come home for Thanksgiving. Tina and Stefan were married in March 2016. In March of 2021, the couple separated. Tina filed a petition to dissolve the marriage on November 21st. She also filed for an emergency protection order on the 20th. In that petition, Talena says that Stefan was verbally and emotionally threatening. Stefan's family, who knew Tina was filing for divorce in an EPO, says they were shocked to hear that things had gone this far. And, you know, on the behalf of my family, you know, I just want to say that we are beyond sorry, grief stricken in the highest of the highest. Sean Ray White says she has this message for her cousin now. Why? Why, Stefan? And that's the whole families. That, that, that's all of us. Why? Why would you do that? Tina's daughter, Tamara Glover, was not at this afternoon's arraignment. And when asked about the protective order that was not immediately granted, she simply said she wants justice for her mom. She also wants the community to know who Talena was. My mama, my mother, she was a queen. Like, she was a queen. Like, like I said before, um, she was my best friend, my twin. Um, 
so glad she blessed me with her looks and I look just like her and I know when people see my face they feel sad but it's like don't feel sad when you look at me you see her face. For other women dealing with domestic violence Tamara wants them not to be afraid to speak up. Don't be scared somebody's gonna hear you somebody's gonna listen and by any means ladies women in a situation like this we we have to protect ourselves and do whatever we got to do. Talena's daughter says she'll continue looking for justice for her mother. In Lexington, Rachel Richardson, LEX 18 News. Again, Stefan Henderson did appear in court today to be arraigned. He was charged with the murder of his wife as a convicted felon in possession of a firearm and violation of an emergency protective order. The count of violation of a protective order was dismissed once again. Henderson's bond set at $1 million. He pleaded not guilty on our charges and will reappear in court next week on December 6th.